Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deola Adu, and this is still Dee's Library. This episode promises to be very informative, so stay with me till the end of the video, as I promise you will learn one or two things. This episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how I edit my videos, how I edit my audios and pictures that you would use in your PowerPoints when you are doing storytelling or reading. I also promised that I was going to share with you how and the type of pictures I download from the internet. Let's go. When your PowerPoint page open up, it's going to open up with a blank page like this with two text boxes. So what I normally do is remove it because it's video I'm dealing with and I'm dealing with editing my video. So go to insert, insert video on my PC. Please don't forget that these videos have already been downloaded before we started this video. So make sure you download the videos that you need and follow me. So take a video on my PC. I'm going to insert one of the rhymes that I've downloaded. And you will notice that the thumbnail fills the entire slide. Now there are two types and I'm going to show us the two types. Now go to playback. Click on automatically and full screen mode. Now is the time to edit. Go to trim video. Let it load on the timeline. It's important that the video will load. Otherwise, you're going to have hitches when you are running the video. As soon as it's loaded, there are two buttons that you can see. One green and one red. The green signifies when it starts and the red signifies when it ends. Now I'm going to edit because I want I don't want certain things to show in my video, especially when I'm telling doing my storytelling. I just want the children to see the clip that I wanted and that's all. Now I'm going to go and move the start time to the exact place where I want it. Good. And then the end time. I don't want the entire video to play, so I'm just going to move it to just a portion of it. Good. And then I click OK. Now you see that the thumbnail has changed. It's just going to start and end where I want it. Now I'm going to insert another blank page just so that I can show you the second type. Insert video on my PC and pick up another one. Now notice that this thumbnail is just a little, it's just still just right sitting right in the middle of the screen. So go back to playback automatically and play full screen mode. Now this also I want to edit to start and stop where I want it. So I'm going to go to trim, let it load and then move the video to the exact place where you wanted it. Fantastic. That's where I wanted it to start and I want it to end here. And then I click OK and it's going to start there. So let's go to the third one. And this time I want to edit a story. Now I have a video downloaded for the purpose of this particular video. I have a five in one short story that I want to edit. The video that I need is right in the middle of this particular one. So same thing, click automatically, full screen mode, and then we want to trim. Let it load. You can see it's loading. When you finish loading, then you search for what you want. Move the green button to where you want. I want fox. There's a story about the fox I'm looking for. Fantastic. Fox and the cock. And I'm going to look for the end of the video. It's just the clip that I wanted. Right. And that's the end of the video. And click OK. You notice that the thumbnail also would change. Now let's go to audio. And in audio, I insert my picture. And I'm going to go to my picture of this is when my children are leaving the library remember in the last video that we, we saw you can i'll put the down below i'll put the link in the section and you can insert 
audio this time around from my PC. And this is when the children are leaving the library and I can click. Now you notice there's a watermark. I do not want the children seeing the watermark. I don't want them to see it. So I'm going to hide it during show and I'm going to click that it starts automatically. Now the same thing that I did with the video, I want to do with the audio. I want to just eliminate the introductory part of the video. So I go to trim, let it load, and then I can move my button to where I want it to start from and where I want it to end. Fantastic. Can I move this a little bit? Yes. And I click OK. Now, before you click OK, I need you to get your writing materials and note the number. When I mean the number, the number of where the start time and end time. Please write it down. 11, 163 and N 46 810. Now I need this number because I want us to I want to show fade duration. Now when you come to fade in and fade out, I need those numbers. Put the number here, click OK, and put the number here. So we fade in at 11.163. Eleven point one six three, and fade out at forty six point eight one zero. Okay, and that I want you to listen to how it fits in. It's just going to come in quietly, and then increase in an ascending order, and then by the time it's fading out, it will do the same thing. So let's go to fade out. It's going to go quietly, quietly until the music stops playing. Now, let me do one more of that. Insert my picture of when the children are coming in. So, let's insert hello. And then I insert my audio on my PC of when they are coming in. So, the same thing. I don't want the children to see the watermark. I'm going to hide it during show. And I'm going to click automatically. And then I'm trimming. Let it load and move to where you want it to start, move to where you want it to end. Now, a word of caution here. In case you don't know where the, you want the audio to start from or where you want it to end, please listen to the audio ahead of time before you start editing. So you know the exact number of what you want and the exact number of where you want it to end. And then write the number down for fading and fade out effect. But I already had mine, so I'm going to write the number 24.909. And I want it to fit out at, um, let's say, 55. 55.514. And I'm going to click OK. Then come to fade in and write the number 24.909. 909 and you want it to fade out also at 55.514 awesome so when the children are coming in you're going to see how it plays good now the next one i want to show us is how to insert pictures and how to download this picture that you're going to insert it. I told you in my previous video that I'm going to show you the type of pictures to download. Now we're going to go to the internet. I'm going to click on my internet, come to my Google and type in the picture I want. Now I want, I'm looking for picture on Little Red Riding Hood. So I'm going to type Little Red Riding Hood, which I found here. And I'm going to also click on transparent, transparent background. We should click on that. Then also I'm going to put PNG just to have a transparent background images. Good. Now leave all come to images. Now I have different pictures. Now just look for the best one that you want and pick it up. So. I'm going to take three so that I can show us what it looks like. Now I'm going to click and save my image. 
to Little Red Riding Hood here. Good. I'm looking for another one. I'm going to save my image to Little Red Riding Hood. Good. I'm going to click on that. Wait for it to load. Save my image. And I'm going to click the last one. Save my Little Red Riding Hood. Awesome. So I have four different kind of pictures that I want to show us as an example. Fantastic. Let me take one more. Right. Save. Good job. Now it's saved. And I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and insert my first picture. Go to Little Red Riding Hood and insert. Now notice that the background has this gray shade area and I want to remove it because I want my picture transparent. I'm going to go to Remove Background and a pink box is going to show. Move it. And move this also down. Awesome. And click outside of the box. And there I have my crop it. Remember, make sure you crop from the side, not from the middle. And I have my first transparent background. I'm going to insert another one, another picture, just so that we can see the different types. Same thing I did, remove background, click on making sure the pictures are well noted. They are highlighted. Good. Now, if you notice that the basket that she's carrying still has that pink boxes. So what I want to do is I want to remove it. Now go to mark areas to remove or delete mark or discard changes or mark areas to keep. I want to keep whatever is in her basket. So I'm going to mark areas to keep and it's going to give me a pencil highlight. Draw it over it and draw it over there. And everything is done. Now I'm going to crop it. And I'm going to crop it. Fantastic. I have my second Little Red Riding Hood and I'm going to insert one more just to show us what I'm talking about. Same thing. Remove background. Ensure that the boxes fill up the entire space because I want the background to be transparent and move this down. Now, if you notice also, uh, some of the places are still highlighted in pink. So I'm going to go to mark areas to keep and I'm going to use my pencil to draw down because that's the area I want to keep. I'm going to take my pencil, draw down. That's the area. Then the shoe. Good. And then the jacket here still has a big area. Good. And then I'm good to go. Fantastic. And that's how I have my plain background. You can now go ahead and save this. And the last one I'm going to do is still insert pictures. Same thing we do there. We do here also. We're going to do the same. Now, on my blank page, I want to show us another type of um, picture to be downloaded on the internet called animation. Now, I go to my internet, open a blank page. Now, you want um, the hello or goodbye, anything you want that is animated, just type in animated 
welcome now look at it animated welcome gif transparent background click on that images for animated welcome transparent background always make sure that there's transparent background and always make sure that animated is typed behind whatever you're looking for whether you're looking for welcome where you for goodbye you're looking for um little red riding hood anything you want just make sure that you put gif transparent background and you're going to see it so we are going to take click on this you can see the movement the movement is the animated part download it <clears throat> save as image still in your folder let's pick up another one save image let's pick up another one hello save image good now we want to do a goodbye animated so i'm going to go to animated instead of welcome i'm going to write goodbye gif transparent background and all sorts will come out now i want um, this so i'm going to save image pick up another one different types will come out different type save the image save now look for another very nice one that you know that you're going to really like as long as it's gif as long as it's transparent background as long as save image as long as it's transparent background as long as it's gif it's going to give you the same thing now i want to look at this save the image now i think we have enough so i'm going to go back to my powerpoint slide insert picture and i'm going to take my images that i've downloaded and i'm going to insert another one pictures that i've downloaded because they are gif transparent background and i can insert a song my audio on my pc same goodbye hi during show automatically and play now let's see the overall effect of everything that we've done we're going to play so make sure you repeat everything i say and do i said a boom shit boom Right, so let's go to the second page. My second page will just start exactly where it says, and it will start and it ends at exactly the page where I want it to end. Now I'm going to go to my story, Fox at the Crack, and it's going to start and end at the exact place where I want it. And you can see that it starts seamlessly and they start automatically once you go to the next page whatever you put on that page will just start automatically in my next class i'm going to show you how we do transition and animation you can see the kind of pictures i've downloaded and edited and my goodbye song of gi come to the end of my video on the two-part series of how to use PowerPoint in storytelling or in reading. I hope you found it very informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.
with other people. I'm sure they will enjoy it too. Stay with me till then. This is still Diola Du from this library where we help you get better. Bye.